The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch by Rhonda and David Armitage There once was a lighthouse keeper called Mr Grinling. At night time he lived in a small white cottage perched high on the cliffs. In the daytime he rode out to his lighthouse on the rocks to clean and polish the light. Mr Grinling was a most industrious lighthouse keeper. Come rain or shine, he tended his light. Sometimes at night, as Mr Grinling lay sleeping in his warm bed, the ships would toot to tell him that his light was shining brightly and clearly out to sea. Each morning, while Mr Grinling polished the light, Mrs Grinling worked in the kitchen of the little white cottage on the cliffs, concocting a delicious lunch for him. Once she had prepared the lunch, she packed it into a special basket and clipped it onto the wire that ran from the little white cottage to the lighthouse on the rocks. But one Monday, something terrible happened. Mrs Grinling had prepared a particularly appetising lunch. She had made a mixed seafood salad, a lighthouse sandwich, cold chicken garni, sausage and crisps, peach surprise, iced sea biscuits, drinks and assorted fruit. She put the lunch in the basket as usual and sent it down the wire. But the lunch did not arrive. It was spotted by three scavenging seagulls who set upon it and devoured it with great gusto. Clear off your vomits, shouted Mr Grinling, but the seagulls took not the slightest notice. This is an excellent peach surprise, boys. She's a great cook, Fred. Scrumptious lunch time. That evening, Mr and Mrs Grinling decided on a plan to baffle the seagulls. Tomorrow, I shall tie a napkin to the basket, said Mrs Grinling. Of course, my dear, agreed Mr Grinling. A sound plan. <laughs> right, they'll have to try and leave them up to step by split. <laughs> On Tuesday evening... Mr and Mrs Grinling racked their brains for another plan. There are brazen lots, those seagulls, said Mrs Grinling. Brazen indeed, said Mr Grinling. What shall we do? Our cat does not appear to like seagulls, said Mrs Grinling. No, my dear, said Mr Grinling. Hamish is accomplished seagull chaser. Of course exclaimed Mrs Grinling. Tomorrow Hamish can guard the lunch. A most ingenious plan, agreed Mr Grinling. Hamish did not think that this plan was ingenious at all. He spat and hissed as Mrs Grinling secured him in the basket. There, there, Hamish, said Mrs Grinling consolingly. I'll have a tasty piece of herring for you waiting when you arrive home. Sadly, flying did not agree with Hamish. His fur stood on end when the basket swayed, his whiskers drooped when he peered down at the wet blue sea. He felt much too sick to even notice the seagulls, let alone scare them away from the lunch. Like a day, like a day, said Mr Grinling sadly. Meow, meow, agreed Hamish pitifully. On Wednesday evening, Mr and Mrs Grinling racked their brains for a new plan. What shall we do? said Mr Grinling. Mrs Grinling looked thoughtful. I have it, she exclaimed. 
just the mixture for hungry seagulls. Indeed, my dear, said Mr. Grinling. What have you in mind? Wait and see, said Mrs. Grinling. Just wait and see. Mustard sandwiches, chuckled Mr. Grinling. A truly superb plan, my dear, truly superb. On Thursday morning, Mrs. Grinling carefully packed the mustard sandwiches and sent them off down the wire to the expectant seagulls. <coughs> On Friday, Mrs. Grinling repeated the mustard mixture. It's all right, birds. Let's go and have a lunch somewhere else. <coughs> It's the same as yesterday's lunch, Fred! So on Saturday, up in the little white cottage on the cliffs, a jubilant Mrs Grinling put away the mustard pot before she prepared a scrumptious lunch for Mr Grinling. While he waited for his lunch down in the little lighthouse on the rocks, Mr Grinling sang snatches of old sea shanties as he surveyed the coastline through his telescope. And this is what he saw. We'll fly back here for a lunch and come to Maripos. No mystery in this little kid. This is a delicious chocolate and clear friend. Oh well, such is life mused Mr Grinling as he sat down to enjoy a leisurely lunch in the warm sunshine.